Well, it's, 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 it's something that has a very important part of our annual calendar of events. If you're in the tourism business, you should be at WTM. And Antigua and Barbuda is here out in full force. We have our Minister of Tourism with us. We have all our tour operator partners on stand, and we've been having a great show for the past couple of days. As, as it says, WTM means business, and we are here for more business. You're here, obviously, in, in the wake of the two hurricanes which uh, hit the Caribbean. Uh, just, just run us through um, how it affected Antigua and Barbuda and um, where you are with the rebuilding, particularly of Barbuda. Well, Barbuda was, was hit uh, hard. Uh, you would have seen the pictures and would have heard, heard that. Um, we now have the Barbudans on Antigua. Uh, Antigua was not hit very hard. We had maybe two poles down, a couple of roofs slightly damaged. All the hotel product is up and operating. Our airport was open within 24 hours. So Antigua is open, um, as, you, as you would hear, speaking to the hoteliers that are here. Uh, we're ready for business. Uh, beaches are just as beautiful. Our events that we have planned are still on board. Uh, we have, for example, in the first week of December, we have the ship in uh, the, 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 the yacht, show, yacht, the yacht, yacht show, show, the Antigua Big Chatter yacht show, big boat show. So that's something. As regards to Barbuda, we are working, of course, to get it operational as quickly as possible. I think within another two weeks, electricity and water will be back available to the island. We've started work on a number of the structures there that are not too badly damaged. Uh, unfortunately, the school is uh, wiped out, the uh, hospital gone. So you still have this, the kids will have to be in Antigua until that school is rebuilt in Barbuda. And of course, their mothers will be with them. What, what many people perhaps don't realise that Antigua and Barbuda are one country, so you would say then that by visiting Antigua you're helping to rebuild Barbuda? Absolutely, Gary, absolutely. And that's one of the key um, components of our strategy this year at WTM, is to raise the awareness that Antigua is pristine, it's untouched, it's open, we have all our hotel partners with us, and we really want to get that awareness to the trade as well as to the, the general consumer, that the best way that you can help Antigua and Barbuda is to come and have that holiday in Antigua and experience our 365 unparalleled, beautiful, pink, white, sandy beaches, some of the most hospitable people that you can find anywhere in the world, a destination that you can get to same day from London, Gatwick, eight hours. We can have you on the beach by three o'clock in the afternoon, same day after we're packed. So we're open, we're known for our romance, we're known for our wedding and honeymoon business. We, two years in a row now, we've been voted the Caribbean's most romantic wedding and honeymoon destination, we're known for our yachting, you know, we're known for our summer festival, our carnival, and we invite all of the, of the folks in the UK and Europe to just come away, get away, get away from the cold weather that you're experiencing right now, and experience Antigua and Barbuda and all we that it has to offer. We have a full calendar of events, uh, noteworthy, I think, is the sailing week regatta, which is the last week of April, and this year there's going to be a bumper amount of boats, sailboats there. Uh, it's a, a wonderful week of partying, sailing, and having a great time. Uh, I think that it is something that everybody has to experience at least 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, just tell us about any new developments, new hotels, etc., that you've got on, on, on Antigua. Coming yes, up. we have um, the Hodges Bay Club, which should be open within a couple of months. That is going to be a fantastic property. We have the uh, Kalalu Keep hotel that has just broken ground and started uh, building. We have another property, the Half Moon Bay property. Uh, there's a, a major hotel chain that is uh, just about to sign with them. We're hoping that will get going within another uh, six to eight months. And then we have a, a, a huge project coming off down at Dickinson Bay that may see another two hotels come into play. And of course in Barbuda, we still have the commitment of the De Niro uh, project. So the Nero Packer project, that is going to be a huge game changer for Barbuda and for actually Antigua and Barbuda. As you know, Barbuda and Antigua are two separate islands, but one country. So again, there are a lot of exciting things coming forward for Antigua and Barbuda, and we look forward to welcoming everybody here to experience that, what is happening with us. Great. And, and what, one thing I'd like to add to that is that those new properties are backed up by some very, very powerful hotel chains. For example, the Elegant um, Hotel Group for, for Hodges and um, the Wall of Astoria, you know, which is building their first Wall of Astoria in the Caribbean, which will be managing the Kalaloo Key Project. So um, we look forward to great days ahead, Minister. We'll be doubling our room stock. 
and we are open for business.